Okay, this is a tech tip for the 700 750 King Quad uh, fuel filter, or it could be used to install a fuel pump. It's a basic on how to take it down. This particular model is a 750 King Quad 2008 model, uh, 2370 miles, 411 hours. I decided to go with the Profil, not only the screen for the pump, but also for when you're putting gas in. That's on the right there, and I'll show that later. Uh, this is the first area you need to look at. It's under the seat. Electrical connections need to come off. Uh, the fuse box to your left, that'll actually go through your the hole there whenever you pull your plastic up. These are some of the connectors that you'll need to pull loose. Um, just pull those loose, and they'll go through that hole. Here's a picture after I had those disconnected. One problem I ran into when I was trying to pull the plastic up after the electric connectors was this little bracket right here. Um, that's your brake, rear brake cable bracket. Uh, make sure you can disconnect that or your plastic's not going to come up. Once you get it up, you know, this is what you're going to see. Uh, pretty much a filthy, muddy mess. Here's another angle of it. Uh, this little piece, we'll talk about it more later, but it, it'll, it's orange, it'll stand out to you. Just take it off and tuck it back. Uh, to take the side cover off, uh, there's three, there's two plastic tabs and, and one Allen screw. Pull those loose. You need to disconnect these on your tank. This is after it's already cleaned. Uh, this, once you pull your tank out, it's going to look similar to this. This tank is going to slide out towards the left rear tire. Here's a picture of some of the, the four bolts that hold the tank in. Uh, once I pulled the tank, I uh, went ahead and blocked it off. The patch of the vent and the fuel line so I could clean it. I uh, pulled the sending unit out. This is what it looked like. Here's another angle of it. That's your screw uh, for your, your fuel gauge. Uh, you need to, it's one screw, take that screw out and the assembly will drop off. I tried to do it without taking that off and it was a mess, so definitely take that off. Um, the black and yellow wire for the fuel gauge will need to come, come out. You can take a pair of needle nose, get down there and pull that straight out. With the Profil kit uh, that come with these uh, nails here, they actually help you take your pump apart. Uh, you just slide them down between the tabs. Um, you can actually, you can see where the screwdriver is there, you can get in there and do a little prime to help them take it apart. This is my old filter, this is the new one. So you can see the old one was pretty dirty. And here's another picture of the sock. Uh, that's just going to slide right in where you uh, your fill field nozzle there it slides right down in there real nice and neat it's going to keep you from getting any uh, anything in there when you fill up uh, while i had it apart i went ahead and used uh, electrical grease and with all my connectors everything i could get to and here's the sock again you know it just slides right down in there uh, it's good preventive maintenance for the cost i think it was it was less than 30 bucks um, here's my helper for the day he hung in there with me and Help me get the job done.